I'm Wayne Burgess. I am Production Studio Director for Jaguar Design. Today I'm going to do a quick sketch of the Jaguar F-Type for you. Nearly every project starts with um, a guy sketching on paper with a biro. Now in the case of, um, of F-Type, it's all about the two design lines on the, on the vehicle and that's kind of the, the front fender line, which is this beautiful flowing line that runs right from the very front of the vehicle down to the nose there and I'll fill in some details later but we've got some sharp gill vents and it, it bisects those vents so it's a, a design line that kind of unites the whole car visually. This car is all about what we call the dash to axle dimension which is the dimension from the front wheel centre to where the driver sits so you want to show that the car has got a, a decent engine positioned nicely rearwards in the chassis and then I'm figuring well in that case the rear wheel is going to be positioned around here. The second design line on the car is, is the rear fender and that kind of arches up over, over the rear wheel and really emphasises the power that the car is transmitting through the roads through that rear. You'll always have that, that muscularity, the broad shoulder when you look at a Jaguar from the rear so that's quite important as well. Because F-Type is a Jaguar and it's, it's classically proportioned it's going to have kind of a, a long elegant tail that you'd expect a Jaguar to have and I, I've kind of got a a rough architecture for the car. So now I'll kind of work in some details. One of the things on F-Type that emphasises that dash to axle dimension that I mentioned before is it has a, a front fender vent that sits between the clamshell bonnet and the, and the door opening and that's around about here. That line runs through and then we have a tail lamp graphic on the rear end that sits nicely on that line. We can't get the cars to sit as low over the mechanicals as you used to because things like pedestrian impact mean that we drive the bonnet height up to protect pedestrians in the awful event that we might hit one. So in the case of F-Type we came up with a, a visual device that runs through the bottom of the car which is a, it's a light catcher basically and it just reinforces the impression that F-Type has this lovely lightweight fuselage section that runs through the body here and runs through and, and then comes out on the rear bumper. So again it's using a design feature to to lead your eye around the car. We'd love to have this swept under tail that's very much a strong Jaguar design feature. We, we necessarily have to have a bumper beam out of the rear of the car to protect the rear of it. So we use a graphic device again to visually look like the car's kicking under, but we have a black Venturi that then extends rear from the car to actually cover that bumper beam. And then on the front, we decided to do lamp graphics which were very much working with that design line. So they're very linear. Uh, it's kind of like a modern interpretation of the fingernail lamp that you'd see on a, uh, an E-Type Jaguar or a, an Aston DB9 or whatever. So yeah, I'll, I'll put some detail into the sketch now. So I'll start with the short gills down here. Let's, let's put the A-pillar in now in the, the windscreen. Uh, put a sort of door mirror detail in there as well. I'll use this sheet to rest my hand on and then I won't make such a mess of the drawing. Tip of the trade though. And what you're doing when you're rendering a car up is you're just trying to give a bit more indication of what the shape of the vehicle is. So yeah, I'm just adding a bit more detail to it now. And one of the really nice things on, on F-Type is, is the ingot, as we call it, this sort of like piece of cast aluminium that sits in the, uh, the front fender below the clamshell bonnet and adds a little bit of jewellery to the car. Normally I'd have a bit of cotton wool to, to take the blobbiness off the, uh, the end of my biro when I'm working, but I'm just going to do that over here. When you render up chrome, you've kind of got to put a very high contrast horizon line on it because that's, that's what chrome does by nature, so you can kind of see the way that I've done that there. And then we kind of move forward to the nose of the car, and we've got the headlamp graphics, and on F-Type, uh, because it's a very sporting car and got a very kind of uh, dynamic personality, we went for black lamp internals. I'm sure that any car designer will readily admit that they've got a, a Star Wars manual and a few aircraft manuals on their, their desks as inspiration at any one time. It's quite cool to have the projector units and the lamps have forms that look like the TIE Fighter, some Star Wars around them. Uh, I suppose I can quickly draw one here. So take a, a 12 model year XF, for example, and the, and the headlamp shape is kind of, it's got the, the arched eyebrow, and then you've got the, the projector unit. And I have a bit of fun because the functional part of the lamp is this fisheye lens here. That's, that's the bit that works. We have what we call the TIE Fighters and they're literally, if you, if you remember Star Wars, they, they kind of clamp around the lamp unit like so and give this kind of lovely spacecraft-like feel to the lamp unit. 
gives it a lot more interest because because it could just be that projector unit suspended in space. But it's these lovely technical elements that inspire us and, and find their way into our designs as, as, as cool details. And let's put some shade into uh, into those shark gills that I described earlier on. So I've got a kind of side view that I'm reasonably happy with there. And then finally I'll kind of, um, I'll draw some wheel details onto it and I'll, because this is a sports car and five spokes are very sporty, uh, I'll, I'll give it some five spoke wheels. As I say, as this is a quick sketch, I, I won't put too much detail into the wheel, I'll just put a suggestion that the, the rim section's got some dish to it with some shading through here. And that probably would be, that would be enough for me. So you kind of like say, well this is, this is the theme that we want for the car guys and I'd pin that up on the wall and encourage uh, the, the young designers then to go away and, and give us their interpretations of uh, a car like F-Type and what it could be. There it is, there's my quick side view of a Jaguar F-Type and the, the story behind it. My name's Wayne Burgess, this has been my five minute car design. <laughs>